This is a review of the Mr. Coffee 10 cup thermal carafe coffee maker. The controls are not complicated at all. There's a dim mode. There's an hour and minute button when you set the delay. To set the delay you just hold the button and then release it and then you can depress the hours and minutes as you see fit. Then you hit the uh, button and that'll set the delay. You can check it, see where it's set at. Uh, delay brew. When the light is on, the coffee maker will commence at this time that you set. Pretty simple, straightforward. There's also a clean button, which I have to admit I haven't used yet. And then there's the brew. You can either press the button to brew it now or you can just let it come on automatically. So to make a pot of coffee, it just uh, press the brew button. You'll see this uh, fresh brew timer come on. That fresh brew timer will count up to two hours and then beep to let you know how old the coffee is after it's made. So I started at 9.05. Let's see how long it takes 10 cups to brew. And as you can see the water level is going down fairly quickly. And we'll let the clock tell us how long everything takes to brew. Also while it's still brewing you can do the uh, sneak a cup where you just take the craft out, have a cup of coffee, put it back on to continue its drip. So we have about 8 minutes to brew 10 cups of coffee, that's reasonable. And we'll watch the pour. And the cutoff, but really you're supposed to not depend on that seal, so if you tilt it back and then release it, you know, it holds it. Uh, just a little bit of water. I mean, excuse me, got a little bit of coffee right here on top, but I just didn't let it uh, complete because I wanted to read the temperature. And it is saying... 159 every once in a while it hits 160 so we have 160 degree temperature see now that I gave it a second all of the coffee except for this one drop right here went in but that's never been an issue I just kind of uh, was uh, messing with it early because of the video so the unit fits well underneath our uh, cupboards this is 17 inches to the bottom here so I have plenty of clearance uh, with the Cuisinarts, they said do not put it underneath the counter top or the cabinets here, I should say. Uh, however, the Mr. Coffee owner's manual said nothing about leaving it underneath uh, cupboards like this. Um, putting my hand here, it's a little warm, but I can keep my hand there. So the heat doesn't appear to be an issue. Seems to be the hottest in this back corner back here. But I can keep my hand there to the touch. So, Okay, well let's make a pot of coffee. What I like about it is the reservoir comes out and it has a lid on it. So you can easily charge the reservoir. And on the other side, the coffee grounds are held in place with this cartridge and it has a filter on top and there's no lid to come off so it's nice that we don't have to pull it out from underneath the counter to charge it. Also the filter uh, you can set what month you installed it or what month you want to change it however you think. So with all coffee makers there's a lot of water to clean up. 
we like the uh, permanent gold basket and uh, actually it didn't come with any filters now that I think about it. We had to order the gold basket separately or you either have to have filters on hand or uh, go buy some. <laughs> that was a bit strange. It did come with a filter, a starting filter, so uh, at least you could uh, install a filter if you wanted to. So it's uh, pretty easy access to charge the uh, coffee here. We use um, about six tablespoons, kind of level or less. That's what we like. Medium grind. You know, we're kind of a breakfast blend kind of people, so we kind of like it uh, that strength. I'm sure if you fill it up all the way with coffee, there may be a chance of overflow. There's a uh, overflow. Uh, exit right here so if you start having issues maybe it's too much coffee in there I'm trying to make it too strong go to a bolder uh, uh, roast so charging it, it's real simple just put it right in place so for charging or filling up the reservoir that's pretty easy it clearly fits underneath the sink so we like to fill it up from the refrigerator because it has a much more robust filter So filling it up from the refrigerator, yeah, we can make it work. It really doesn't fit in there. I mean, we can definitely, uh, I think I just spilled some, you know, make do. But what we found an uh, easier way was to use the craft. So we use the uh, spout on the craft to activate the uh, water and just fill up the craft that way. And it fits... Looks like I can just shut it off, on, off, on, off. Works pretty easy, or convenient, I should say. So by filling up the carafe, you know, you're not going to have any overflow. You know, there's no remaining coffee in the pot, because I did <laughs> leave some coffee in the pot and made another pot of coffee, and it overflowed a little bit, if that was user error. So it's real easy to charge it up. On the craft, you know you're not going to overflow anything. It's a quarter turn twist. It's a good seal on there. I'm very happy with that. Then the uh, reservoir has like a little hand grip in here. That's very nice. You can just uh, place it onto the coffee maker. So I'll just hit the brew button and you'll see it start to pulse. My wife really likes the handle. So it's it's pretty nice. I like it too. It's it's good grip. Has uh, little bulges in there for you to wrap your hand around, little finger grips. So we'll let that brew. It takes about 8 minutes.